Hello everyone, thank you for joining my channel today. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use countifs in Microsoft Excel. Please watch up to the end. So, the Excel countifs function returns the countif of the cells that meet one or more criteria. You realize that countifs can be used with criteria based on dates, numbers, text, and and conditions. Countif supports logical operators like equal signs, uh, a greater than, less than, and also it supports while cards. I have my example here. One thing we must note before we start using countifs, we must be able to know what do we want to use countifs for? What exactly do we want count? For example, my report is here. I want to get like how many people receive their time out of those, how many paid, how many not paid, and below 15, how many males, how many females, above 15, just like that. But this function countifs will be able to help us get that. Now we have our data all this area is our data but we're going to apply get all this report using the countifs function so this is what you're going to do there are two formulas people always use for getting countifs but i want to show you a more simple one and if you find you need the other one also please comment under the comments column put there that you need it i'll be able to put it I'll be able to record in the next tutorial. So let's get started. For example, the first item here is airtime. And we want to see how many paid and how many males below 15 years. So we want to work on all this row. Then we see how does it work. You know, Excel, as I said, as I've already said in my other tutorials, that every formula must start with the equal signs but this one i want to show you something slightly different although it also starts with equal signs that is you go to formula this is more simple if you're a beginner, a beginner in this field you go to formulas then you go to more functions if you're using microsoft office 2013 this is what you're going to see so then you go down to count tips. So you click on that once, it will be able to bring this pop-up box here. This is where you're going to do all your work. It simplifies everything that you're going to do. Now, for example, criteria range one, what do we want? We need people who have gotten airtime we can then start from the first one. Service. We need airtime. So we can come where is airtime? It is in D. It is in D. In this area, we're not going to only select D word. We want to pick entire D column. So you just click on top. Click on D. So it shows you D, D. Meaning everything that appears in D and tells airtime. It will be captured. So what do we want from that D, D? We want what? Airtime. That is it. That's what we want. That's what we want. Still in this cell, if we have got those airtime, one those who have what? Who have been able to pay. How many people have paid? Let us check how many. So paid payment setters is where? It's in E. Just click on E. Then you come and say, paid see that so when you cl finish clicking on paid we want criteria 3 which is what a mail we want at least a mail where do we get the, the gender here B let's click on B you scroll using this then you click there we want mail of which the way it is written here, it is M. So you also put M. What is criteria 4? Our criteria 4 is 
less than 15 years of age. Where do we get the age? It is in C. Click on C and come down and put there less than 15. You find you are done with your first criteria. Just go ahead and click OK. See? Shows you 11. Now we're going to do for female. When you have to do for female, if you realize everything here is just the same, you can just go ahead and come here, copy this. Copy this formula, press enter, then come here and paste it. Control V. So it first brings 11, the very thing for male. But what you're only going to do is just change this to female because everything is the same. So when you finish that, press enter. So it straight away tells us this is 7 females and 11 males. Now, let's go to the next thing, which is between 15 to 49. We want still the same criteria. We are still going back to formulas, more functions, statistical, countives. Use the same. This one now, what do we need? What is the first thing? Still what? Airtime. It doesn't matter where you start from, so long as you picked all the criteria. Now, let's start with, uh, we can even just decide to start with the gender. Let's say, here we want male. What's the second criteria? We can go to age. Age. Now this one is a little bit different. It's not like the other one. There are two criteria of age. The first one should be greater than 15 years. So you're going to say greater than or equal to 15. See that? The second criteria here is less than or you can just say less than 50 years. First of all, we still come back to age. Then you say less than 50 years. Or you can just say uh, less than or equals to 49. It's all the same. Then you say you go to the next criteria. What is the other criteria we want? We want, we have not, we want air time. So you come to D, D. Then you enter air time. What is another criteria? Is that you want those who have paid. Click on EE. -E, then say paid. See? What haven't we picked? I think we have finished everything. When you finish, press enter. See, it gives us the answer is one. It means it is only one person who is between 15 to 49 has paid for both their time and has paid. So for the next one, we're going to copy the same. This and press enter. Come to the next. Control V and change this to female. See, when you change to female, it just brings two. It doesn't matter, even if it's a small letter or capital. What is very important is F. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. So, let's go to the last one. The last one is almost like the first one. If you have very many of them, you can always the middle one use like how you did this. Now the last one, it's somehow simple, just like the first one. We can even just decide to copy this and take it there. For example, we just copy this and bring it here, paste it there, and change this edge bracket to greater than or greater than or equal to 50.
see that then you press enter it gives you it is one person copy the same thing and bring it here and paste it and say female see this is what you needed for someone who has a paid now let's check for the person who has not paid this is just the same as this we're only going to change payment status so you copy this bring it here then you change this to remember one thing is you must copy exactly where it is written if it's capital letters must be capital letters for this one not paid see I'm going to copy this for this area then I print put it there enter and I change this to not paid I'm only just adding not hmm? just that you can even decide to copy that next time you just paste so you're going to pick this bring it down press it there and change this to not paid see nobody has not paid for that item if to copy this bring it and as well put it there make sure you mind so much about the spelling not paid then you come to this one so you put it as a not paid oh sorry I'm putting all just only not you copy the next and copy bring it there first then you say not paid see that is what you do so you realize out of all people bought their time the only four people did not pay the rest of the people paid now let's check the next item which is soda so for soda it's just exactly as this we can even just decide to copy this and bring it here see copy it and bring it here then you're only going to replace the word soda instead of airtime instead of you going to follow all the procedure just copy that and replace see you're not just going to start following everywhere you only replace soda this is to save time but if you have enough time you can go and do it all along every 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 cell using the same formula still is all the same get the same answer So you see this all this now here it's all the same you're just going to change it to soda this is basically what you're going to do to get your data Now that we have been able to get all what we needed before. So in for example, we have already got for airtime. Now we need to get for the other indicators. So what we are going to do is one, we are going to copy all what we have in airtime. Copy it to the rest of the indicators because other things are all the same. You find the age is the same, the sex is the same everything so you're going to copy 
only you're going to copy everything then you're only going to start changing where you find airtime you change to the particular indicator that you need you can see what i'm doing i'm changing this so when you change this this the the, the function will be able to read the changes you have been able, been able to make please subscribe to my channel for you to get more updates and remember to turn on notifications and like this video in case there is anything that you need for me to improve here or you want the other formula also please put comment under the comment section i will be able to see and send for you that Uh, thank you for watching my video please subscribe and turn on notifications So then finally, the last thing is at page. How you first you just control V. Please, if you find this video very interesting, subscribe for more. I'm going to be uploading more and more of them. So you see, you have already worked on your report. Let's see. We can even put our auto sums. In my previous tutorial, I told you how you can get the sum 
and so forth. These are just totals. They don't need serious technical knowledge. You can just decide to highlight all this. Then you come back home and say auto sum. See? Then even this, just highlight all and say auto sum. That brings for you what you need. So this is your entire report. Now it's now as perfect you can decide to lock it if you need to know how to lock your cells that you cannot change some areas like these formulas they are delicate if you allow here to be open it will be it will not be good so if you need it that you tell me i i bring it in my next tutorial how to customize your work in microsoft excel so this is basically what you're going to do. For example, let's try to change some of our data. We just remove, delete this. See, this changes. We can bring it back. Maybe want to change this to, you know, when you remove one criteria, it also delete the data the other side, see? Just whatever you change here, it just changes to that one, you see? When you change anything, it automatically changes something from the table. This is what you're going to do with the counting. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe. Turn on notifications.